Morning. <laughs> Afternoon, isn't it? How is she today? Do you care? Of course I care. Short on, Lisa. I'm all right, thanks, Pet. Oh, I love it. Sure, but you've got one. What are your plans for this afternoon? None. Not how to go in there, am I? Oh, where have you been? Keeping a low profile. <laughs> it makes a change. Is that for me? What do you think? <clears throat> do you, uh, fancy a trip into Watton in a bit? What for? Oh, I thought we could go to the pictures, get a pizza or something. <laughs> Where have you ever been to the pictures? That Incredibles is still on at the palace. He won't go and see that. Yeah, I will. If that's what Debbie wants. Look, we could get an hot dog and that. Mm -hmm. What? You do think you are super, Dad. I promised I'd make things up for you. Because everything seems to be my fault, doesn't it? <sighs> go on, then. Good. Right. Come on, let's go. No, I'll wait till I finish my sandwich. I thought you only wanted a can of pop. Well, you gave me a £20 note. We well, didn't have to spend it all. Although, that is fine with me. Whatever you want, no problem. Good. What are you looking at her for? I'm not. Is everything all right now? No. When wasn't it? Has he been bothering you again? Dad, just leave it. So you were with him yesterday? When you swore to me that you weren't? It was all innocent. All right, so you admit it then? I don't want any trouble. Uh, what's going on? Who's the slapper? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Dad, just leave it, will you? Get in the car. Yes! Deal with you later. Nothing happened. So much gonna. I thought you said you'd sorted things out. I have. Libby, hi. Max is buying. Hey, give us a minute, yeah? <sighs> do we have to talk about this here? Yes, we do. I don't understand how getting abused in the street by Debbie's dad constitutes sorting it out. <sighs> it's a nutcase. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, but you can do something about Debbie. I have. She was dead embarrassed when she saw me. You saw that for yourself. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Look, we had a big chat and I made my feelings felt. What more can I do? Okay. Well, I shouldn't be too hard on you. Especially not when chances are her dad's going to break both your legs. Hope you look good in plaster. That's not funny. You're too right it isn't. Look at it from my perspective. It's bad enough slumming it with a farm boy, but having to compete for his affections with a girl in gym snips. We drummed out of the tennis club at this rate. Do you think I could have copped off with Max over there and saved myself the humiliation? You are joking, aren't you? Andy, why would I joke about my dignity? No, you don't. Down here. Don't make me fetch you. Sit. I'm not a dog. Don't start sulking. Sulking? <sighs> OK. Right. So you went to see him. That's no big deal, cos nothing happened, did it? Well, it can't have. Not now he's found some new tart to hang about with. <laughs> see? I'm not angry with you. I always told you as a loser, and now you know. So, we're cool now, yeah? Cool? Yeah. You made a right fool of me. But seeing as according to you, I'm just some tart to fool around with, what do I matter, eh? No, Debbie, I'm on your side. I don't want you on my side. You mess everything up. You drove Mum away. You're always pushing me around and embarrassing me. I don't know why I waste my time with you. Oi! I'm putting myself out for you today. I'm giving you spends. I was going to take you to the pictures. I'm just trying to make things right. You don't know what's right. You don't know anything. Did I say I could move? I'm not a kid. I want you where I can see you. Debbie! I mean it. You can't make me sit here forever. Try me. Is this your idea of making an effort? No. This is my idea of coping with a lying little slapper. As soon as you're back to I'm going to Mum's anyway. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. She knows how to treat me properly. All she knows is how to sleep with any man who is desperate enough to have her. What, like you? You are really pushing it, madam. Go on, then. Hit me. You know you want to. Debbie, I'm just trying to look out for you. 
What am I supposed to do, eh? Sit back and watch while I get banged up by some farm boy. Is that how you want it, eh? Hiya! <laughs> oh, what now? She is grounded indefinitely. Oh, so much for super dad. Why don't you tell him what you've been up to? Oh, whatever it is, I'm sure there's no need to get aerated. She's been seeing Andy. You what? Yeah. I knew it was right. Is this true? It was once and nothing happened. Oh, and we're supposed to believe that, are we? Yeah, but it's true. I'll tell you what's true. You are a lying, manipulative little cow who's been getting her own way for far too long. Well, no more. Cos from now on, you do as you're told or you face the consequences. Kane! No, the lad's right. She knows how we feel about Andy. You've let us down there, Debbie. Oh, right, so this is all my fault. He's never done a good thing in his whole life. This is not about you, Dad. Yeah, it is. Because no way am I staying in the same house as him. You're overreacting, love. No, Lisa. Either he goes or I go. Debbie, love, it's on the table! Oh, face it, she's not coming down. Oh, by the way, Lisa, thanks for advising the softly, softly approach. Hey, bless of the shark, it's not her fault your daughter's going off the rails. Yeah, well, from now on, we do things my way. <clears throat> where are you going? You know where I'm going. Debbie, love, don't be silly. No, I've told you, Lisa. It's either him or me. Right. I've had enough of this. Give me the bag. Get off! I said give me the Get bag. Get off! I'm going to miss my yeah. box! Well, I said things have changed. You do as you're told. I will not be disrespected. Zach! Get off! <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? You do not treat your kid like that! Yeah. My kid, not yours. Get out! I'm going nowhere. I want him out of here now. You heard her. And you heard me. Why can't you be a man for once in your life and just go? Make me. OK. OK. You brought this on yourself! What are you doing? Oh, I asked you a question. Look, actions speak louder than words. Oh, you're going to set fire to me, are you? Not you. That! Uh... Whoa, hang on, that is my home! No, no more, it's not! Yeah, right. You're bluffing. I wouldn't bank on it. There's no way I'm in the wrong gear. You ain't your own daughter! No, I never! Uh, and not for the first time! You've seen the way she winds up. I'm just trying to be a dad. I know. That's what scares me. That's it, what you're doing! I'm sick of thinking, Lisa! Give me a lighter, Shadow. Right? Are you going to try and stop him? He's not going to lie to you. Oh, you think you know everything, you, don't you? All you know is how to make people's lives a misery. Look at Debbie, your own daughter, scared to go near you. It's a daft lunatic granddad she's scared of. Lunatic, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Well, is this mad enough for you? Hey? No, that's Dad! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate! Kate! Get back! There's a gas canister in there! Oh, huh? I told you I'd do it. Now get off my land. Look. Okay. Maybe I was being a bit harsh now, but it's only because I care. All you care about is yourself. The only reason we've been putting up with you is for Debbie. Come on, Debs. I wasn't really going to hurt you, was I? I mean, you and me, we have our little fallouts, but I'm still your dad, aren't I? Not anymore. I don't need a dad like you. I don't ever want to see you again. Debbie! Now get gone. Or I'll torture your car and all. Where am I supposed to go? Not our problem. <laughs> 